All right, so in this video, we're gonna set up a stretchy control. So it's gonna be something like this. We're gonna have a slider that controls like a stretchy control of this ball and we can, you know, link this up with the animation. It's gonna look really nice. But so far in the previous video, we created these controls to where when you move the ball up, the shadow scales and it blurries. It also moves with the ball. So all of that is nice. We rigged that up in the previous video. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. But in this video, we're gonna do the stretchy control. So let's do that. We're gonna to go to this controls layer. We're gonna select it. We're gonna to go to effect controls panel and we're gonna lock this in so we can see our controls in here. Next, we're gonna add a slider control. So right click here, go to expression controls and click on the slider control. So again, by itself, it's just a slider. It doesn't do anything unless you attach something to it. So we're gonna select this and we're going to rename this to stretchy. So when we move on this, it's going to stretch our ball but we got to set this up. So to do that, we're going to go to the scale property of this ball. We're going to select it, hit S to reveal the scale property. We're going to add an expression by holding Alt, click on the stopwatch. And in here, we're going to separate both of these into separate lines. We've done that in the previous video. So I'm not going to go as detailed this time. So if you want to see how I did it, be sure to check out the previous video. So we're going to say this, we're going to say X, you're going to equal to this value right here. So we're going to say value, which is this whole number, but we want the first one. So we're going to say index zero because it starts with zero. So zero, one, we want the value zero. Okay. So that's what X is going to be. Then Y you're going to be value and then index one, which is the second value that right there. And then we have to marry them together because we have to speak the same languages here. So those are two values. The last statement has to be two values as well. So we're going to do square brackets. We're going to say X and Y. In other words, X, you're going to be applied to this. Y, you're going to be applied to that. So when I click away, nothing happens because it really didn't do anything other than just we split both of these into separate lines so we can tackle them individually. That's all we did here. So now we're going to create a variable right above here called stretchy. It's just a made up English. It can be anything, but I'm calling it stretchy. And we're going to pick whip to this stretchy value. Again, remember, we want to be more specific. We want the actual value because when you say stretchy, it's a slider. It's going to go to the slider, but slider has a name and other properties, but we want the value property. All right, so now we have a stretchy. So when I refer to this variable stretchy, I'm actually referring to this number right here. So now when I pull on this, I want to add to the, like the height, like the size, the height size of this ball. So let me zero this out. So I'm going to go over here value, right? We're going to add to this Y, right? Right here. We're going to add to this, but without touching the X. Okay. So we're going to say at the end of it, we're going to say plus stretchy. So this one right here. So watch what happens. So when I pull on this, it scales up. Now, when it scales up, I also want for the X to size down to kind of go in. And for that, we're just going to copy this stretchy. We're going to do the opposite. Right, we're going to copy this and we're going to say instead of plus, we're going to say minus stretchy. When you do that, it does the opposite. It's that simple. So now when I scale on it, you know, slide on it, you can see it, it goes up or down. So it gives us that stretchy. That's all we're going to do. Now you can alter the numbers and you can divide it and multiply it, whatever, but that's what I'm going to keep it at. Now that's all we're going to do for the ball, but we have to do the same thing for the shadow. And I'm going to copy this variable right here. I'm going to reuse it somewhere else. So now we're going to go to the ball shadow. So we're going to select this, hit S to reveal the scale property. Now in the previous video, we already rigged stuff up. So we're just going to add our stretchy variable right here. And we're going to do the same thing we did previously. So we're going to select the stretchy, copy it. So in here, we want to subtract stretchy. So let's see what happens. So when we move on this, it's subtracting from the X. Okay. But on here, we want to add, so we're going to say plus stretchy. But remember, we want to maintain the same like a ratio, size ratio. So we want to say divided by 10. We talked about it in the previous video. So we want to maintain the same. So whatever we apply to this, the Y is actually the X divided by 10. So we have to maintain that ratio. It's very important. So now when I click away, and if I move on this, you can see it's, it's working. So let's set the zero. It does work, especially when you move it up and you adjust it. You can see it does it does work. So that is really it as far as stretchy goes. That's all we're going to do. In the next video, we're going to talk about animation. So I'll see you there.